Welcome back everyone. Today I show you a prototype of probably the second coolest thing I've done so far. I have designed and built a mostly 3D printed RC car. What you see in the background here is the prototype printout of the chassis. I designed the chassis in Fusion 360. This was a really fun process as I've been getting much more into CAD and being able to do blueprint sketches and turn them into 3D models has been really cool. Basically it was nice to start using a CAD program that actually was used for engineering. This chassis was designed around the drivetrain and suspension system of a low-C mini Baja that's like really old and it was given to me by a friend. So I measured everything out and made sure I included it in the CAD file so that the pieces would just be able to screw right in. I figured adapting to an already existing drivetrain would be easier to do and would be much more helpful anyway as the parts would not only work better, but it would save times with objects such as bearings and wheels that I would have to buy anyway. After successfully converting it into a one-tenth scale on-road car, I also wanted it to go fast, so I strapped my old Rustler motor and ESC, which I already had, onto the old gearbox. I'll let you know right now, I've already stripped the differential, and I need to replace it. Here's some nice footage of the car's capabilities. See all that fish tailing? That's because nearly all of the weight is in the rear of the car. It makes for really cool drifts, but it's also kind of hard to control when you punch the throttle. The car was also too low to the ground, as the suspension was tuned for a much lighter vehicle. I'll show how I fix this later. As you can see, the car's capabilities are almost on point with other cars in the 1 10th scale racing class. Now here's some top speed runs in the street. I'm pretty sure this car is faster than my Rustler, which clocks out around 40-50 miles an hour, so I'm pretty sure it's in that speed range. There's some more of that tail happiness. On that pass, you could hear the scraping of the chassis on the ground. After those runs, the bottom of the chassis was pretty scraped up, so I put duct tape over the bottom and then I added these spacers in the shocks to help adjust for the height. That fixed the problem right away and didn't affect any of the driving dynamics. During this whole process, I visited my new local hobby shop, which had changed buildings and added some amazing, like, indoor RC tracks that I thought was, was really cool. One thing is that the organization system is still not on point, so it's really hard to find things. I think we actually walked out um, with nothing <laughs> at the end of it. I mean, a lot of the time they don't have things in general, but it's just cool to visit. But that time, I mean, we we still walked out with nothing, and it kind of sucked because we wasted an hour there. But it was it was a cool experience. The other reason we were there is we were getting parts for cars that were given to my friend, which were like thousand dollar like a Traxxas Slash and an HPI Racing TTO2 or something like that. Here's a little video of us messing around with them. Ah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this thing is fast. But anyway, all this is besides the point. The next step in this project, besides for me to replace the differential, is to mold a shell for the car. As you can see, I've chosen a Mercedes SLS AMG as I think that would look the coolest. So far, we have built a vacuum former, and the 3D printed mold is coming, as well as the PETG heat filmering plastic we'll be using. Don't worry guys, I have projects on the way. The ducted fan one is on the table. I've been working with that a bunch. This was 
too cool to pass up, so I had to post this before. 100% expect to see more of this once we get the mold done. Thanks everyone who's stayed in tune. Um, I know everyone hates me very much after I posted that water gun video for some reason. But all jokes aside, I want to go in the more direction of DIY. I'm still going to do tons and tons of RC stuff. That's going to be the main focus of the channel. But I do want to include some cool DIY stuff, and I'm definitely going to be doing more 3D printing. So stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Love ya. Jesus Christ, this thing is fast. I gotta, you gotta warn me if there's a car coming, cause I, it's so hard to concentrate on this.